Candy Cooper's here to show us a really cool technique with using nail polish to marbleize your beads. This is great. Yeah, let's make some beads. Well, we'll decorate them anyway. So to get started, you're going to need some really plain and boring beads. Um, these are just chunky wooden beads. You can use whatever you want. The next thing you're going to do is wire them up with some really cheap craft wire. And you just want to um, make it so that you leave enough at the end for like a little Christmas hook, let's okay. call it. So you're just using a piece of scrap wire for that. Right. Then the next thing you're going to do is shake up that cheap nail polish. <laughs> and you're going to pour it really slowly onto the surface of your wire or water. I okay. got wire on the brain. And then you want to choose two kind of complementary colors. Don't choose something dull. Like I had a couple craft fails with like gold and silver, and it didn't work because it was like too close to the bead color. You know what I mean? So you really want it to stand out. Right. So then you're, once you get all your beads wired up, you're going to give it a quick dunk. And then if you have some areas, you can kind of see I've got a little bit on the back side that didn't didn't get as much. You want to rotate that around, give it one more quick dunk, and then leave it alone. And I'm going to show you why. <laughs> because oh. if you like to <laughs> keep dunking, this is what happens. It's really gross and disgusting. So just so don't a couple do dunks, and then you're going to do a couple more, and then you'll probably have to clear this water and do the rest of them. So it's a good idea to buy a lot of wood beads because I kind of had to experiment with it to get it just right. Because once the nail polish starts blending in the water, you don't get as great it's of a look? It's too thick, it's chunky, and it just doesn't work. So just a couple be beads, quick dips, get on with your life, hang them on a drying rack, and, and just move on. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do, like, I love them like this, but... Um, you know, gold is really trendy right now, and I thought they could use a little pattern. So the next thing I used was a gold paint pen to just start doodling on top of the beads. I thought it looked really cool. And you would just cover your entire bead with a pattern of your choice. And then you can see these are a little bit more shiny. I coated them with like a clear Krylon sp or a clear spray or um, nail polish. Would. Okay. Okay. So clear gloss spray over top, let them dry really good. And then it's the fun part, ready to string. This is a great slumber party project, no? I'm saying you could have, I mean, really fun. And then paint your nails afterwards. Why not? Okay, so we're using gold beading wire because I thought it complemented the gold um, design. I'm using a 19 strand. It's a good all-purpose. Got my little stopper on here. You can um, it also, for these hollow beads, you can barely see the wire through it, so that's kind of nice. Those are cool. It looks good with the wire. Kind of sculptural. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to add a couple more beads. And then now it's time to secure the wire, one end of the wire, to some chain. And for this, we're using crimp beads. These are these tiny tube beads. And these come in different sizes. You want to check your beading wire package to get the right size. Okay, so just make sure when you're shopping that you get crimps that work <laughs> together with the wire that you have. That's right. Okay. The second thing um, you're going to do is go ahead and pre-cut your chain like I did. Just kind of get an idea of how long you want it. Pretty easy there. And you're going to run the wire through that last link of chain and then through the crimp bead. And you're going to slide the crimp up next to that um, chain link. And you want to do it so it's not choking out your you know, link so it moves freely. Then we're going to put it in the opening next to the, in the back of your plier and crimp down. That makes a little U shape. You're going to turn it 90 degrees, like so, and then crimp it. And Great. then I've got a little bit of tail, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that. Slide everything to the opposite end. Okay. Make sure you get all your wire tucked in. And then you're going to repeat for the opposite side. String that crimp. Find you the could other use end the same wire. way to make a bracelet, too, if you wanted to. You totally could. And this would be, like, you could put clasps at the end here instead, and you could turn it into a bracelet or a necklace. Like, oh, then it would be convertible. interchangeable, convertible. My favorite. Okay, so we're almost done here. I just want to show you how to remove the slack. So now, you see how I'm using my thumb, and I'm pulling that tail of wire to push everything down. And then we're going to crimp again. Yeah, so you can use the standard size crimping tool with this, but if you had really tiny crimp beads, then you use a smaller tool. That's exactly right. It's good to use what you have. Okay, so then trim that wire, and I've got my necklace almost done. All we have to do 
is I've already finished one in with this cute elephant link, and I just added him in for, I have short hair, so yeah. I like to have a little surprise on the back. But I went ahead and opened a jump ring from side to side, just twist it open, connect your clasp. You can use your tools to help you out with this, but for bigger jump rings, I like using my fingers. Slide it back closed. And then we can add a second jump ring to the end of the elephant link here. Plus, I like that little contrast in color, you know? Yeah, it adds a lot to your design. It makes it more personal, too. Yeah. You could put your favorite connector there. Any kind of link. And Fun. then just open your lobster glass. Done. That is so cute. I love it, Candy. Thank you. This is a great project that we could do with our kids. Really? Right? So just make sure that all the materials are teen safe. Yeah.